Good morning. The last time you were in art class, we started a new project where we were drawing a cup of hot chocolate sitting on a table or a counter or somewhere. Today, I'm going to show you, well, we'll talk about the Sharpie part, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm going to talk to you about adding value to your project to make it look more realistic or more three-dimensional. So when I talk about three-dimensional, I mean it looks like it's a form. So it has a height, it has a width, and then it has a depth. So how deep it is. That depth is very important in making it a form. So even though it's on a flat piece of paper, we can make it look like it's popping out from our paper and make it look like it's three-dimensional. And we do that by using value when we color. So I will do that coloring demonstration in just a second. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, the last time you were here, I showed you how to draw your um, mug of hot cocoa. Today, what I'm gonna do is show you how to color it, and I'm going to be using the value or shading to make it look more realistic. Now, we'll do more of this another day, but I'm going to show you how to do that on the portion of the cup so that um, you can finish coloring the cup for next time, okay? Then next time we will add a shadow and we will work on the background. So I chose my colors out of colored pencils that I wanna use, and I would like you to use colored pencils. Markers will not work for this project. Um, I want my coffee cup to be <clears throat> these colors and or my hot chocolate cup, whatever. Um, you can use basically any color with the exception of black because we'll use black to do the shading. Um, I also don't want you to use brown except for the hot chocolate, okay? So I decided that I want these three colors um, and I need to figure out where I want each color. So maybe I want, um, maybe I want pink here, pink here, and then orange and turquoise in the middle here. Um, what I'm going to do is start out by coloring it in, and you should have everything sharpied and erased first. Obviously, I didn't Sharpie everything. But on the right side of your cup, you want to press kind of hard so that the color is really bright or dark, I guess you could call it also. And then when you start getting over to this side, you still want to be able to tell that it's pink, but you're not going to press as hard. Okay, so it's like the light is shining in from this side, lighting up the cup. And on the other side, it's darker because the light isn't hitting it right there. Okay, and then I need to blend the two together by, so here I'm pressing hard, hard. here I pressed very light, and in the middle, it's kind of medium that I'm pressing like that okay we just don't want to see a line where you go from dark to light you need to fade it in a little bit okay now I would do the same thing up here and then in the middle I'm also going to do the similar where it's lighter over here and darker over here and then when I'm done doing that part I'm going to take black and I'm going to press along the edge here, not super hard because we don't, like a shadow would not make the cup look black. It would just make it look like a, kind of like a darker pink. So I'm pressing lightly here and I'm going to press lighter and lighter as I get closer to the middle. And when I do this, it's almost like I'm coloring in little um, loop-de-loop lines, but they're very, very close together. That's just how it works for me. It might be easier for you to draw using lines. Um, it's kind of 
up to you. So it starts to look like this, and this is going to start making your cup look like it's three-dimensional or like it's going around, okay? Okay, so once I'm done with this bottom portion, like I said, I would do this as well as this, and then I need to decide what color I want my handle to be. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the pink just because it'd be touching the pink. So I would color the handle pink also, and it's going to be darker at the bottom, like that. And then at the top, it's going to be like it is over here, where you leave it very light. Okay. Just like that. And then for the shadow on the um, handle, you are going to use the black again. <clears throat> it's going to be fairly dark down here. And it's going to be dark on the bottom of the handle like here. And then it'll kind of fade up and be a little bit lighter up here. Like this. Okay. I don't want you to work on the table at all today. I also don't want you to work on the background up in here. All I want you to do is work on coloring the coffee cup. Now, this is kind of time consuming. For me, it's relaxing. I love blending colors. Um, but again, like I said, it is time consuming. So please take your time. You have the potential to make something that looks really cool with this project, okay? Feel free to do the brown hot chocolate. Um, and the only part of the project that you will leave white are the marshmallows as well as the steam that's coming up, okay? Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know.